Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Ezquerro and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Rust answers, which is, which is this one. And it says how to set a sequence of goals in Movit. So I, I will be trying to explain a little bit this, how to create it. And uh, yeah, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to this academy on the video description. Now let's start with the video. So in the question, as you have seen, he says how to set a sequence of goals in Movit. And he says, hi everyone. I would like to give my robot a sequence of goals such that by pushing plan and execution in air pieces, it is possible to make the robot reach every single goal serially. Does anyone know how I could implement this? Any help is appreciated. Thanks a lot. Rose version uh, Kinetic Ubuntu 16.04. Okay, um, I don't fully, fully understand this part here by pushing plan and execution in RVs. But I'm going to recreate an example where I will pass different goals uh, to to the robot to move it and the robot will do them uh, serially, so one after another. So let's try to recreate this example. And for this I have created here a, a project, as you can see, it's this one, the Movit QA. So I'm going to open this project, where I have basically some files prepared. And I am going to, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to do also another thing, which is in, a, in our robot, in Night Academy, I'm going to open the the manipulation curse, which is this one, Ross manipulation in five days. So I am going to open this curse, and here I am just going to take a code snippet in order to send a goal to move it. I am going to use the code example from here so that I don't need to build it from zero, and I will need to go to the perform motion planning programmatically unit. So let's move to this unit here. While RDS is opening my project, here it is. It's still loading. So here, let's also wait until the wall environment loads. And what I'm going to do is to come here to the notebook and okay planning next directory yeah so here I have an, an example code in this case it's uh, giving directly a post to the end effector let's use the other approach another approach which is to pass directly joint positions I think it's here yeah here I have it here it's still loading the simulation. It's a fetch robot, so I'm going to use also the fetch robot here. Okay, this has ended, it has loaded everything. Okay, so let's open here a shell. And let's open as well an IDE. Let's put it around here. Excellent, so basically in, in this project I don't have anything. In the notebooks I don't have anything, in the simulations I don't have anything neither. The only thing I have is here in the cutting wall space, I have the fetch move it config package. Yes, so this is basically a move it package in order to control the fetch robot. Um, you can learn how to use, how to create a package like this here, for instance in the manipulation course, in creating a movie package, but it is a uh, long process or not very long but it has uh, some steps so I prefer to have it here already loaded and I don't need to lose time with this so yeah here I have my 
fetch move it config package and inside here for instance let's create a new folder which I'm going to call src and I'm going to create as well a new package um, execute I'm going to call it execute trajectories.py great then inside here let's copy our example code and with this code what I'm going what I'm doing basically it's to to plan only this trajectory but I want to execute it as well so let me use here here also in the notebook at the end of the notebook we have an example of how to how to execute a trajectory here we have it great so yeah let's let me close this robot in academy because I won't need it anymore yes then there we are okay I don't need this neither great so basically what I'm doing here is to create all the connections here to the robot the planning and scene the move group commander which in this case is, is the arm then here I am getting you know, all the all the variables of the joints as you can see with this function the get current joint values and then what I'm doing here is to assi assign to the joint number 5 in this case the value minus 1.5 yes then I set this new joint value as the target to reach then here I am planning how this trajectory would be and finally here I am executing it yes so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward as you can see so yeah let's try this this uh, code I am going to add a couple of things anyways let's plan as well for so I'm going to put the joints 0 and 1 to 0 Then I'm going to put the uh, uh, join 3 to minus 1.5 and the jot 5 to 1.5, okay? So basically I'm modifying four joints, the join 0, 1, the 3 and 5. I, and I am putting to these joints these values, 0, minus 1.5 and 1.5. Yes? Great, so I have my, my Python script here. Then I need a simulation, of course, so let's launch the fetch simulation here and let's open another shell as well and let's wait a few moments until the simulation fully loads Great, so here we have our fetch robot, excellent. Then let's do first of all one thing, I'm going to raise the fetch torso so that, so that it is easier to plan. Um, what was the Nazibo demo? I think, yeah, move torso. Okay. So I'm going to execute this command, which basically will raise the fetch torso. And this way it will be easier for the arm to do movements, as you can see, that it is raising the torso. Great, so let's stop this now. And let's launch our package, which is the fetch move it config. And the fetch pine execution dot launch. We need to have our move it package running so that we can communicate with it and send it goals. Okay, there it's going. And uh, we have our code saved, yes. So let's now execute our code. So Rosrun 
fetch move it config and it was called test uh, okay let me do one thing because I don't know if it has execution permissions as you see it doesn't okay so I will need to give it execution permissions execute trajectories okay so now ros run fetch move it config execute trajectories there we are so let's run our code and see what happens if it works or not okay great so there we have it uh, it is planning the trajectory and it is executing it great so our code is working so now let's try to to execute a sequence of 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 different goals and as you will see right now it will be very very simple so what I'm going to do basically is to copy and paste this several times so let's do it like this for instance this is of course the simplest way you could get these values from a file you could create a loop etc but this is just an example I just want to show this the faster way so yeah let's change values of these so so for instance let's put the joint number 3 to 1.5 yeah so here it is at minus 1.5 and then after the first movement I will modify it to 1.5 let's also here I don't know let's let's use another joint the joint number six for instance let's, let's put it to 1.5 as well and finally let's put everything to zero yeah so the three the five which which has also values and the number six let's put all the joints to zero in order to end the movement there we are Excellent, so here we have all the different, how we are changing the position of the joints, yes, and, and executing each time the trajectories. So let's try this code snippet, let's launch the simulation again, first of all, important. There we are. Okay, we will need to raise our torso again, fetch... Uh, here it is, move. Torso, okay. So here it's almost done. There we are. Here we have our fetch robot, fully loaded. Let's put it like this. Then let's raise the torso with the command I used before. There we go. And uh, yeah, I will launch here as well the planning actually the movie config, sorry, the movie config package. There we go. And finally, I will execute my script. So ros run fetch movie config and execute trajectories. And if everything goes okay, we should see how the robot. Uh, does different trajectories one after another in this case it will do four different motions so yeah let's execute our code and see how this goes there we go okay so here we have our first motion now it should uh, do another motion different which is moving the joint three there it goes now it will do another moving the joint six, which I think it's this last one here. There you have it, how it has turned that joint. And finally we'll do another motion putting all the joints to zero, which is this position, there it is. Yeah, and it has ended. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very, very simple way to execute trajectories in a serial way. I mean, one after another by pacing, basically passing joint joint values the joint values you want for each motion uh, 
And yeah, I hope you have liked the video and you have enjoyed it, you have learned something. If so, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Thank you.